And we're back for more House of 1000 Doors. This is Family Secrets, first game in the series. And I can tell you right now, I will be playing the follow-ups to this game. I'm loving it. Hopefully you're enjoying it as well. Now, if we look at our inventory, we have uh, lost quite a few things here. We've got our trusty lighter still. A knife, which is kind of cool that we've kept that as well for this long. Chest piece, an acorn, which we somehow have to break open. And a pitchfork. So we're ready to roll. Let's rock and roll. We have to figure out how we're going to deal with the witch over here. So I'm not sure what uh, we have for options here. So this is kind of a strange ledge, isn't it? What the hell am I supposed to do here? No, nothing there. Actually, I'm kind of curious now. Oh, I didn't even notice. Mary is the kidnapper. I can't even put what I saw into words. The old witch does something similar to a blood transfusion. I tried to stop her, but she paralyzed me with magic. She's trying to find the source of life and restore her youth. That's not creepy. Ew, ew, ew. Restore her youth. How's that going to work out? Morphing objects. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I'm way behind on my morphing objects, but, uh, hey, that's life. I guess in theory I could go back through all these scenes and check them out. I wish there was a way to easily see that, but unfortunately there isn't. So, what am I doing here? I see cheese. I don't get to cut the cheese. Why am I here? Good question. We're here. Ah, acorn. That's neat, we just leave that in the cupboard. I mean, wh why carry it around with us and drop it in the field somewhere? We just leave that in the cupboard and... When we need it, we need it. Here you go, Lizzie. Look at that little sly boots. How can I lure it out of this hole? Stuff some gems. Oh, look, he's sitting out there now. Haha. I'm gonna go back to the portraits and deliver this one here, because why not? It looks like we've got two more and then the big one up top here, so that should uh, really be exciting. I assume that we're on kind of the last chapter here, last act. Well, alright, let's figure out what we got to find here. Old fashioned iron, no. Snail. Oh, what do we have in here? Oh, it's box section here. Box within a box. <laughs> Whoa, holy cow, this place is falling apart here. Can't even click that very well. That's only half of the photo. I need the other half. Well, I'm gonna have to find the other half, aren't I? Oh, there it is. A bell, a bug, weight, and a chain. Rope, and a nail. Oh, look, crowbar. Hello, crowbar. An eye, a bug, Feather. That's not a bug. And that's not an eye. Go figure. Oh, I can't even close that no door now. Hmm. A bug, an eye. And an owl. I can't even find anything. There was our bug. Okay, well we'll come back to that one. That one's definitely causing me some angst. And uh, I'd rather keep on moving forward. I mean, we'll have to get back to it eventually. Whoa, there's an eye. 
sure why we needed that one, but sure, why not? Aha, what's this? Pitchfork time. Get in there. Get out of my way. Ooh, a fire poker. So that's gonna be handy, isn't it? I can poke some fires. Nothing doing here. Not exactly sure what this is all about. Oh, maybe I gotta chain it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what he wants. Really? Oh, okay, well that's your chain. Okay, but how do I make him move? By giving him a chess piece. No. Alright, fair enough. Let's go back here. Okay, we're back for another hidden object scene. I think the eyeball can go here though. Let's do that first. Okay, hair. Mercury. <laughs> hair and mercury, because you know, those ingredients are super handy. Gonna dump that hair in there? No. Nope. Not sure how I'm supposed to deal with that. Right. Three more items to get for my fancy potion. Uh, let's see what we have in here. Anything interesting? Not yet, we'll have to come back to that. Close the door for now. Oh, we're gonna peel it. Neat. Peel herself an apple. Crystal ball. A lock and a cactus. Mouse trap. So we have a bug, old photo, and a handle. And now a bug. Where's the bug? Right over there. That's a big giant bug. Now I have a handle, so that's gonna go to the well. So we'll go do that. Won't work yet. Uh, still think we need a bucket. If I had to guess. So we should go back here then, and deal with what we have here, an eye and an owl. I think an owl is just like a pokey thing, right? Pretty sure. There it is there. So now where is the eyeball? That sure looks like one. But sadly, no. Wow, that is a well hidden eyeball. Holy cow. Well, it's an eye, sure. Whip! Ah, now we can get that oxen moving. Though I feel kind of cruel about this. Oh, oh, oh! Snap! That was a loud snap. Now I got myself a bucket. No shovel, though. Oh, still there. Hello. Just don't mind me while I do all the heavy lifting here. Have no fear. Okay, so we need to go and deal with that bucket. Oh well. See what's inside of here. Got myself a bucket of water. That's always handy to have. Carry that around all, all day long. Is 
throw that in there. Use my fire poker. Got myself a blood key. Cause those are super handy. That will help open up this ch chest over here. Let's see what we have hidden in here. Our last mini portrait, wolf blood. I found the cure for old age. Who would have thought the mystery was hidden in plain view? I just need to replace the blood of a wolf with the blood of a virgin. An ordinary magic glue will turn into the elixir of youth. I'll soon be beautiful again. Well, there you go, the old blood of the virgin. That's always what the witches need, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty typical for witches. They're always looking for virgins. Alright, so we got one more. Holy cow, I'm super excited. One more portrait to get. Uh, not sure what to do here. Looks like gems, maybe? Yeah. So I've got myself a powder. Crushed gems. So let me see here. That's going to go back to here. And I still need one more. I'm not exactly sure what that first one is. Flower. Ah. Oh. It's flower. There must be a way to find some wheat and grind it up. Flower. Oh, okay. There you go. Can I leave now? No, I have to do the rest of the puzzle, don't I? Shoot. Oh well. Sad for me. Snail. I saw you from last time, snail. The clock. Where is the clock face? There we go. Gourd. Clothespin. Book. A book and a comb. That would be a brush. That would be a comb. I actually thought that was a fork. <laughs> Sweet. Got myself the flower I wanted. Let's go and make ourselves a potion. A potion we're making again. A potion to restore the mirror. Oh, that's kind of a lovely green, isn't it? it? Must be the frog legs that have given it that color. Let's splash it on there. Restoring mirrors is cool. Didn't I have to do that? Was that in the first Sacratera game? I think it was in the first Sacratera game I had to restore a mirror. For vanity. The witch will appear in the mirror when I whisper Bloody Mary three times and then and then burn her hair. that mirror. You've surprised me again, Kate. Catching the witch in the Hall of Mirrors was a brilliant idea. The old woman attacked the first person she saw in front of a mirror, which just so happened to be herself. You deserve to stay in the house, Kate. Master Gabriel and your grandmother will be proud of you. By the way, Margaret Fox was a unique woman. A medium with tremendous power. There is no comparing her to the frauds of today. I hope you will be able to restore Maggie's good name. You also need to decide whether or not you will stay at the house. The house is going to jump to a new location soon, and at that time, it will be too late to change your mind. Hmm. 
Good question. Should I stay or should I go now? If I stay, there could be trouble. Uh, where does this chess piece go? Oh, it's the final dude. The final portrait. Aha! There's a recorder somewhere. Oh, I guess we're gonna go to portrait first. The final super dude. What do we have here? Pruning shears. Morphing objects. Ah, I missed quite a few, didn't I? Eight of them. Ah, uh, what is this gonna do? <laughs> Checkmate! Checkmate. Good afternoon, Kate. My name is Gabriel. If you're watching this movie, then you've passed the test and are acquainted with the people living in the house. Saman is amazing. He can materialize the things he sees in his head. He is able to create an entire world for ghosts out of novels he reads. Little Sammy is a brilliant mechanic. He can establish connections between objects in the physical world and the spirit realm. Chloe and Amanda are talented mediums. And you are unique as well. I have no right to insist you stay at the house, even though I would love to have you. Please think carefully about what you want to do. While you're thinking, would you mind starting the mechanism in the center of the room? I mean, since I'm here, why not start the mechanism in the middle of the room? I mean, honestly, what else do I've got going on? Hexagonal puzzle piece. There goes blue. Looks like we need two more gems and the planet Earth. One more gem. So they're going to be all blue, are they? That's fine. Nothing's in here. Oh, another gem. The case of Margaret Fox. Despite what envious people say about Margaret being a fraud, the old woman is brilliant medium. I've collected evidence that proves her abilities. Gabriel, please take a closer look at the files. Margaret could prove to be helpful. You should invite her to the house. Yeah, why not invite her to the house? Not sure what else is going on in here. Nothing. Let's go back here. Yeah, I've just lost complete track of the morphing objects. Uh... Oh look, I can. Oh, is this this might be the bonus chapter, maybe. Wait, how do I? I'm not even sure what this was. That was the train world. Oh, okay, that was that world. Maybe. Let's go here. Yeah, okay. So I can't even get back there, even if I wanted to check for morphing objects. I can't get back there if I want. From oh well, whatever. It is, it is what it is. I am not overly concerned. If I had a little symbol in the corner like the modern day games will have, I would be totally compulsive about it, but I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Because I play these games for fun. I play enough of them that I can't get hung up on any one game, any one feature. That would just be unfair of myself to do that. Okay, so what do we got going on here? It's in the floor, isn't it? Assemble the image by rotating the pieces. Um. Hmm.
can't even tell how this is supposed to look. I think it's supposed to look like that. Maybe like that. Like that, maybe. Hmm. It's a dragon of some sort. With little legs. What in the world is that? It's just a lantern. That's a crazy lantern. So... What can I do now? Oh, he wants his lantern back. Whoa, what the heck is that? Symbols have appeared above the entrance. What do they say? I have no idea. Samon says I need to decide between staying in the house and living an ordinary life. If I choose the former, I'll be able to help countless spirits find peace. Hmm. Alrighty then. I must say the one saving grace in this game is the ability to fast travel. It really does help out quite a bit. And there are our symbols. So X. And I only needed one. <laughs> one move. Look at me go. Pump that in there. Was that supposed to be a challenge? Because I think I nailed it. decision. Am I supposed to read this? I don't know how long I was in the house of Lancaster. Perhaps the laws of the physical world don't apply there. I believe my indecision about whether or not to stay was why I came back to the real world. I have a lot to think about. One thing is certain, I have excellent material for my next book. Also, I can restore the good name of the Fox Sisters thanks to Samon who gave me everything I needed, including documentation, evidence, and even a small documentary about seances. Also, from this day forward, I will boldly tell skeptics to be silent, ghosts do exist. I hope I am able to return to the House of One Thousand Doors. It's a crossing point. See you in the next House of One Thousand Doors. Oh, that's uh awesome way to go out folks the, clearly that's the end of the game here cool I like that so we have actually completed the main game and before I get into the bonus chapter here which we'll do in a separate video let's just have a quick peek at the extras because uh, we haven't been able to see this wallpapers so yeah but you should be familiar with that one I used that one for the video thumbnails Concept art. It always fascinates me how different or how similar concept art is to the main game or the final game. Kind of cool. The walkthrough, of course, is here. So, yep, so we've got the bonus chapter to get to Sisters Fox. I'll be back then. I'm your Gibbs, and hopefully, you all had a wonderful time with House of 1000 Doors. Thanks for watching.